Prvo bi se htjela uh, uh, reći nešto u, srst, u hrvatskom jeziku. Uh, nadam se da neću biti um, čudna. Mislim, jako bi se zahvalila svojoj kolegici Katarini Pević Vuković da smo uspjeli ovaj, ovaj kolokvi um, organizirati jer um, obudve smo se uh, lanske godine um, našle u istim uh, osjećajima um, i tako da sad jednu godinu poslije sa nekom refleksijom možemo se vratiti vratit i, i, i s tim se i naše prijateljstvo ovaj, <laughs> krepi, tako da hvala. Um, uglavnom sad ću preći na engleski. Uh, in my presentation, um, I would like to reflect upon um, the impact of the last year's death of um, Icon Bowie uh, on us fans, recipients of his music, all the declared or, and undeclared admirers, listeners and audience as such. Uh, I can say that from my personal experience, um, there are also, uh, and also quite, uh, were also when I was talking to many other people from my generation, um, which had the same experience, um, I felt as if uh, the transcendental coordinates of our world uh, were collapsing. Um, I'm, um, I'm pointing out the, the word transcendental because I um, would like to uh, see David Bowie's work uh, from, the spec from the perspective of certain um, uh, transcendental materialist um, point of view. Um, as if a Kantian transcendental schematism uh, was, uh, um, was uh, collapsing uh, and total disorientation took place. Um, I myself became aware and concretely saw the minimal fractures or cracks uh, within the world of uh, contemporary world of uh, 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 global um, capitalism, which were to me or to my generation perhaps invisible uh, to that point. Of course, one could say that this is a natural consequence and this is nothing special, the feeling of loss uh, of an admired person or icon or something very particular and nothing uh, universal, uh, which would be normal feelings when, um, you're, when you're a fan of somebody and he dies. Uh, and this happens uh, to many other people um, with the different authors in this uh, famous 2016 years when, okay, in 15, Lemmy died, then Prince died, then Cohen, and then uh, lately George Michael died. So, um, so why should we see Bowie's death as something special uh, in comparison to all other deaths? Um, <clears throat> so my point is that um, I should try to defend here. Um, oh, okay, this installed a kind of melancholic feeling as we have heard. Um, and um, this melancholy can be uh, partly, um, as I said earlier, uh, can be, um, the reason for this can be um, found in the, in the, in the our, um, in, the, in the symptom of our generation as such, not only an impersonal from the, stand of, uh, the standpoint of a person uh, as individual, but as a generation as such. I shall try to defend here that uh, the enormous effect or impact of Bowie's death had on us um, has its cause and reason in the inner qualities and the nature of his art. And that the melancholia, the melancholic feeling which struck us was similar to the, as I said, melancholic feeling Bowie was himself expressing through his music. What I felt in the moment of an announcement of Bowie's death um, had certainly a lot to do with the, with the contingent out, outcome of his last album, The Black Star, through which he retroactively made us see that, um, that, the, that he, uh, making that album, uh, knew that he was going to die soon, and that he was, this was uh, actually his last statement. Um, uh, it gave us a, a somewhat um, phen phen uh, a phenomenal uh, impression that he was singing uh, to us from the other side, from the realm of the, uh, from the otherness. Um, for many of us, this deepened and intensified feelings. Um, however, this was not something new Bowie in his co career and in his uh, philosophy provoked. Um, um, actually, we can go back to the, from the, uh, starting from his um, um, staging of the death of the Ziggy Stardust and the rock and roll suicide. Um, okay, I have a tremor now. Okay, we can start from that point of view and uh, making you see that this was not a coincidence. I mean, this movement or this uh, this theatrical performance of staging his own death 
was actually um, a part of his repertoire which started from the Ziggy Stardust and killing off all the personalities all throughout his uh, work and career. So I'll try to illuminate what was the, um, what was the theoretical or the structure of this deed. As I will interpret it as a deed and actually I'm um, actually in this point I'm um, concurring to the to the to the point uh, the previous speaker made that uh, actually um, Bowie was actually a political political thinker in that that he was actually um, with his when we are checking his lyrics of his all of his songs we see that he's actually um, uh, leading us to become part of the, of his music as such, he's actually interpolating into his music uh, with the deed of a, of a viewer or a listener, and I will compare this to the to the uh, somewhat um, um, uh, to the interpretation of the <clears throat> Malevich painting, black square on white uh, uh, canvas, um, from the Slovenian philosopher Rado Riha, which uh, in, in, the, in this deed he actually um, explains how can we see a revolution from, from this point, uh, from, from, uh, from in our daily lives, when the, uh, the general ideology um, gives us um, impression that nothing can be changed and that um, there is no possibility of another world. So in that point, uh, Rado Riha explains the, the subjectivity of, of where do we see the subject in Malevich's painting. Uh, as a seer, um, this is actually a deed because we can see the subjectivity. The subject as such is in the black uh, square as such on the painting. But the true subjectivation of this painting is when the, the, the viewer of this painting actually sees himself seeing that difference between the white, um, white, um, how to say, um, screen, yeah, and, and the black square. So this deed is actually a political deed. And with this deed, uh, we can subjectivize, uh, sub subjectivize ourselves. So the nothingness as such becomes visible. Without this deed, we cannot reach to the nothingness itself. So this point is very important in um, making a difference between passive nihilism and active nihilism. Um, in, for example, in Nietzsche, and also about, it's known that uh, Bowie was uh, um, referring to Nietzsche a lot in his, uh, in his um, uh, spe spectacle, and also uh, in his personalities as a uh, ubermensch. Um, this um, active nihilism is actually not wanting uh, nothing, but wanting the nothing as such. So this is affirmative, affirmative uh, nihilism. So, okay, in this case, I will, I will say that uh, Bowie's art is actually can be part of this um, uh, affirmative, um, affirmative uh, emancipatory politics, which maybe I can refer to, the, uh, I didn't know that he was a fan of uh, the, that socialist uh, thinker, and this is very interesting to me. Uh, could could be referred to the to the uh, interpolation of people um, becoming part of his work, so interpolating this subjectivity. And uh, my point is that he actually presented this. We can see that uh, this dystopian um, uh, um, uh, dystopian images uh, are always present in his uh, poetics and his uh, aesthetics. But he's never actually uh, just a passive um, uh, lamenter of this destru destruction. So there is a, actually one, um, one song which says the voyeur of uh, utter destruction um, from the, uh, from the I, th I think it's Outside. album Outside them, yeah, where he actually um, presents this. And also I will uh, link this to, to another um, uh, example in his um, song Heaton, from the album Heaton. He actually also um, praises the nothingness he sees, actually, as the material, ma materialized nothingness. So this is actually a very revolutionary, revolutionary um, act because he's not only detecting some, some, um, some um, end or some nothingness, on the horizon, but he's actually making it um, seen and also participating in it. So Rado Riha's point in how can we see a revolution is 
actually that we it's not enough uh, in this uh, area um, era of many re small revolutions but um, and also lamenting about big revolutions and not seeing that they were not efficient that they were past and we should find something new it's very difficult to see where can we see a revolution at all and rado riha is um, pointing to the uh, to the to the to this um, possibility of actually uh, seeing and wanting revolution. So it's not enough to desire a revolution, as we all do, but also to want to desire revolution. So this act of, how to say, um, retroactively um, putting yourself into this desire is actually important in, in order to, to be able to see some contingent project as some some contingent uh, rebel as a rebellion as a, as a, as a revolutionary deed so this is a, ne a never ending process but uh, this is the only way we can actually um, uh, try to see a revolution today not not uh, sticking to some concrete or uh, profane um, uprisings but also in these uprisings transcendentally see the nothingness, which is actually something universal, which is going beyond or uh, simultaneously um, uh, in the same time. Sim um, um, in, uh, and my point is, I, my stake is that David Bowie was actually repetitively, um, uh, uh, his, his art was actually the staging of death, of its own, his own death. Uh, which actually was the, the, the same move which Malevich invited us to, to, to see uh, in, in, in his painting, for example, uh, black, pa uh, black square on, on white canvas. Okay, now uh, uh, a little words about this hidden, um, his uh, last, um, one of the la uh, later albums. Uh, hidden is a word for a pagan. Uh, and I'm not sure, maybe somebody can help me, what, what would that mean for uh, Bowie's, um, Bowie's, in Bowie's uh, uh, um, uh, universum. Um, I, I understand it as uh, somebody, uh, I mean, the people um, after the death of God, which are searching for new spirituality, as we heard Katarina say, but actually um, not trying to find a new god, but actually trying to uh, reinvent themselves in the, in the, in a, actually, uh, how to say, taking the nothingness of, of the god on, its, on themselves. So I will just um, uh, quote Bowie's words, uh, which accompanied the, uh, the publishing of the uh, outside, the album outside, okay, I'll quote. Perhaps the one through line between some of the stuff in outside and the coming millennium is the new pagan worship. This whole search for a new spiritual life that's going on. Because of the way we've demolished the idea of God with the triumvirate at, that, at the beginning of the century, Nietzsche, Einstein, and Freud. They really demolished everything we believed. Time bends, God is dead, the inner self is made of many personalities. Wow, where the fuck are we? I wonder if we have realized that the only thing we could create as God was the hydrogen bomb and that the fallout from the realization that as gods, we can only seem to produce disaster. Is people trying to find some spiritual bonding and universality with the real nurture in inner, inner life? But there is also this positivism that you find now, which really wasn't there at the end of the last century. Then the general catchphrase among the artistic and literary community was that it was the end of the world. They really felt that in 1899, there was nothing else that only complete disaster could follow. It isn't like that now. We may be a little wary of, or jittery about what's around the corner, but there's no feeling of everything's going to end in the year 2000. Instead, there's almost a celebratory feeling of right. At least we can get cracking and really put it all together. Okay, so this is uh, the turn, the twist I think Bowie is always making, this affirmative aspect of nothingness. He's always transforming and changing and this, the, the concept of change is very important in his work because it's the concept of changing the nothingness from this passive into active state. I mean, to really uh, take it on yourself. Um, and in this sense, I can see some similarities. I don't know if I have still some time. Okay, I'll just um, make some points uh, very briefly. Uh, with the French, uh, Uruguayan French uh, poet Conde de la Tremont from the end of 19th century. 
which also lived and created um, uh, in the end a fin de siècle and uh, had also a great impact on uh, surrealist and also situationist. Uh, and he was the one, he, who, one of the rare uh, poets who did, didn't want to succumb to the general feeling of melancholia at the end of the previous century. Uh, Molderer is a character in his uh, poetics, a figure of unrelenting evil who has forsaken God and man. However, in this second work, work which he finished just before his death, po Poesies 1 and 2, Dukas, which his, 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 real, his real name writes, I replace melancholy by courage, doubt by certainty, despair by hope, malice by good, complaints by duty, skepticism by faith, sophism, sophisms by cool equanimity, and pride by mon modesty. This move, as I explained earlier, I tried to explain, I see in Bowie as well. Uh, there is another move which is a very important, plagiarism, which is also part of Bowie's aesthetics. And, um, Lodramon said, plagiarism is necessary. It is implied in the idea of progress. It claps the author's sentence tight, uses his expressions, eliminates a false idea, and replaces it with the right idea. OK, and let me just uh, finish with this, um, um, this comparison with uh, Bowie and Lodramon. Actually, um, I think that uh, they're both quite, uh, could be interesting to see how, how does Bowie deal with the idea of spectacle and how does it he maybe make, make, makes a kind of um, new aspects on it uh, comparing to the situa situationist uh, which uh, saw the spectacle as an um, image which, um, which covers the real um, social relations and the, um, um, how to say, Blagoni fetishism, commodity fetishism. <laughs> in the society uh, and uh, that therefore they made some, some of their own uh, happenings and derives uh, to exchange this Im imagery, Im imagery uh, and to have this emancip emancipatory role. Well, as I was, uh, as I was trying to show, uh, Bowie does the same except that he doesn't change the imagery, he just shows that behind the image there is nothingness as such. So, um, in that case, there are, there are some similarities. And I will just finish with, the, to re, with reading the, the lyrics of the words hidden, which really um, illustrate my point, and, um, and I will end with that. So, um, so still on the skyline, sky made of glass. Made for a real world, all things must pass. Oh, oh, waiting for something looking for someone. Is there no reason? Have I stared too long? Oh, oh, you say you leave me. And when the sun is low and the rays are high, I can see it now. I can feel it die. OK, thank you.